Okay, hey everybody, um, just another update video. This isn't really a house walk. This is just sort of me sitting at my desk, which is great. We love it. We love sitting at the desk. Well, that was amazing. That was fabulous. Um, yeah, so epic day running all over the place. Um, I am, I guess now officially I am the campaign manager for two school district campaigns in the local area. Um, one which is my mother's and one which is another lady who is running for the same board in a different dis or different region of the district. This is for our local school district. So, um, yeah, I'm doing the campaign manager stuff, so I went out and I s worked to uh, secure a couple endorsements for the candidates. I talked to a guy who makes signs and t-shirts. Um, and so we're going to probably, I don't necessarily know if we're going to do t-shirts, maybe a couple t-shirts, um, with fantastic designs, uh, that are probably not going to be made by me. I know there's low battery. Thank you. Thank you, camera, phone. Um, but we're going to work on some signs and we're going to do some cool strategies with signs just to get people's attention. A lot of signs being held by people. And this is going to be a volunteer thing. This isn't just going to be like we find a guy on the street and we're like, hey, you want to play with a sign for like an hour? And they'll be like, yeah, man, whatever. No, it's not going to be like that. We're going to, we're going to do that ourselves. Uh, unless, I mean, unless you're a guy on the street who's like, yeah, I want to hold some signs. I'm really passionate about what we're doing here in the school district. And it's like, dude, let's do it. Um... So yeah, I did a lot of that type of stuff. I went Okay. I went to work and I dropped a coaster on the ground. I went to work, um, which was really fun. We had like the most busy day yet. And so we had a bunch of people who were coming up to our window and were like, hey, I want a pulled pork sandwich. We actually had to get a second thing of pulled pork because there were so many people who wanted the pulled pork, which is great because the pulled pork is delicious. That's actually what I had for dinner um, was our pulled pork. Um, um, and yeah, we got out a little late. I called my worship team leader. I wish I wish I could go on on tangents, but I'm really on point right now. Um, so this may be a short video, but I talked with my worship team leader, and I gave him a phone call, and I am hoping that I, I need to send an email to one of the coordinators to make sure, because originally I said that I wasn't going to be on um, the team for this next season in the summer, but um, I really, I had a change of heart, and I... I I thought on it, I prayed on it, and I'm like, you know what, yeah, I am going to do, I am going to do the next season, because it's like, I had said that, um, that I wouldn't have the time to do it, but, you know, I, w I really, I want to make time for this, and especially since there's not going to be that many events coming up, and I can reschedule and swap things, and so I really, there's no excuse not to do it, um, yeah, and I enjoy playing guitar. I'm learning so much about how to play guitar from this because, I mean, um, singing has always been my strong suit. Sing well, singing and songwriting, writing the actual lyrics has been my strong suit. Guitar has sort of been the thing that I started doing to back myself up, but it was never something I really invested a lot of time in. And so, um, yeah, it's really been a good experience to get out there and specifically because I am ju I'm the acoustic guitarist I'm not a singer I don't sing I don't do anything which is my main thing and that's what I originally wanted to audition for and um, our worship leader said you know what we don't have a singing position open but we do have an acoustic guitar position open and it was kind of like this amazing stars aligned God thing and where hey okay that's what we're gonna do and this is gonna be really good for you and so yeah that's that's what I'm doing and it's been really good for me <laughs> But, no, no, no. Um, I'm going to transfer my computer screen over. I, um, I'm going to be playing Fallout New Vegas. That's one of the things I'm doing. I have a tendency to get really, like, addicted to video games to the point where, like, I don't, I just play them forever, which is really bad when you're trying to, like, you know, have a life. Um... And so what I'm doing is I'm making it so that I have stuff to do during the day. I don't play video games during the day. When I get home, I play like an hour a night up until 11, and then that's when I hit the hay. Um, and 
that is who I've done it one day, and that's working. It's working great. It's going so fabulously um, that I just feel special inside. I'm just, um, it works. I don't know. Um, it's cool. I'm actually going to show you. I have, I think I showed you in the last video that I have my two monitor display system. I ended up, my grandma has two computers, um, and so I was able, I went there and I helped her set up her first computer, and so she was like, you know, I don't need this other one. Go ahead and take it. And it's like, what, do you want me to pay for this, please? Can I pay for it? And it's like, nope, take it. And so she's like, yeah, there's a computer. Here's a glass chessboard. And it's like, thank you, Grandma. This is awesome. So, yeah, I got a new computer. I don't use the computer as much um, because it's like I just sort of thought in my head, I'm like, oh, well, it's a CPU. It's going to be really, really great. But it's actually, it's a factory-built CPU. And so it's not as good as I'd like it to be. And it's not as customizable as I'd like it to be. But still, it's like a second computer. And then I have a third computer back here and a fourth computer back here. It's like, I have way too many computers. So please buy buy my computers. Just I would love to sell them to you. They're really old, and, but you could use them to look like movie props. Like one, there's one laptop, which is just a brick. It doesn't even work. If you need like a scene in a movie where you're going to shoot a laptop, like that would be such a great laptop for you. Buy my laptop. It's going to be great for you. It's going to be great for you. That was intimidating. That was like a monster coming at your screen. Um... Ooh, we're all over the place tonight, which is good. I mean, I was not all over the place. I was like, let's go. It's time for video. Let's do this shit. Excuse me, I'm swearing. Bleep that. So, uh, Fallout is a post-apocalyptic role-playing Oh, wow. Uh, it's set in the future, but it's a I have an interview with... with like. Chris Avalon talking about Fallout New Vegas, which is great, because it's what I'm going to be doing in a little bit. Um... The other super cool thing that I got in the works today is I went down to our local community television station, and because I am doing the campaign managership of those two campaigns, I booked a show, and I'm because I'm a certified producer at our local um, TV place, and so I booked a show, and we're going to do a spotlight. I'm going to produce this spotlight show, and it's going to be my first one that I've ever done. I'm going to be starting, hopefully, this is what I'm planning on doing, and I want to do it weekly, is a series called The Foundry with the tagline, White Hot Truth, which is so badass. I'm like, whoa! And so that's it's based off of my Generation the Great website, which I will link below. I don't know if I've ever linked that before, but that's what my channel's called. And it's also it's referencing the blog that I manage, um, which is actually going... I've been doing that for about a year now, and which is really good because a lot of the time I'll start doing something and then I will just forget about it and never do it again. So I'm glad that I've been able to do this for such an extended period of time, and it's really... I'm getting a pretty good following. It's actually... It's going really well. Um... But I'm going to start the television, like, visual interview segment of that project. That's coming up um, on Saturday. So I'm going to be recording a show down there Saturday. I'm not going to be hosting the first one, if I can help it. Because my mom is running as a candidate, I don't like the idea of being the MC because that really, it doesn't put a good image out there. Um, with me interviewing my mom, it's like, oh, well, he's throwing her all the softball questions. And, I mean, it's like I don't want to grill her, but I want them to be tough, like, thoughtful questions, and I don't want it to seem like... I don't know, I just feel would, would feel weird doing that. And so I've been talking to local radio personalities and just um, different people and seeing if they want to do that. So we'll see how it goes. I may end up being the one doing it, or I may just find somebody that I know, or just find some guy on the street and be like, hey, you want to do an interview? It's like, yeah, man, let's do it. So that may be a thing that we do as well. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. It's been, um, it's, like I said, it's been about a year since I started GTG, and I'm, I've always wanted, I mean, I'm really trying to branch out into filmmaking. I want to do a show eventually. Um, it's in the scripting stage, which is, like, really in the low, <laughs> low-end scripting stage. I've written a couple words on a piece of paper, and that's what I call a script. But uh, that one's going to be called... Well, I, won't get, I won't give the official name yet because I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want... I don't want, I don't want to do it! But it's going to be awesome. It is a post-apocalyptic, magical, dark humor office comedy. Whoa! Okay, you couldn't see it come back down. 
But yeah, so that's generally the gist. It originally was going to be just a straight office comedy, but then I realized that I'm really bad at trying to be funny. So, um, yeah, everything came out really awkward. Or maybe it was just because I was reading it and I wasn't acting it. I was just like, and then he says this joke. And no one laughed. <laughs> okay, sorry. But, yeah, we're working on that. I've got a couple people who are expressing interest in that who I need to get back in touch with, and there's a couple people that, oh my gosh, I need to shoot texts. So there's a lot of communication that I need to be making that I'm not making right now. Um, that will be a thing for tomorrow. I don't know. I need to stop playing with this thing. So, yeah, that's a general update. That actually turned out to be a pretty decent length of video. So I'm going to go. I have about... 45 minutes to play Fallout and see how far I can get. If I had a nice computer, I swear I would update a Let's Play because I always wanted to do a Let's Play, but I don't have a computer that can do it. And so I will maybe, I, if anyone is interested, which I don't think that they're going to be, but if anybody's interested, I will post stuff about what I'm doing. My character is awesome and I have a backstory in my head and I get really geeky into these things because I'm a writer. Um, and so... I feel I'm writing, like, a Fallout fan fiction that's really good, I swear. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any interest in that, I mean, I, I would love to post it for you. Um, and if they don't, that's cool. I mean, I honestly kind of write these things for myself. Although I may post it on Reddit, because Reddit has been, like, there was somebody posted a really bad fan fiction, and they were like, yeah, that's great! It's like, no, it's not! That's not great at all. It could be great. I mean, yeah, that could, you could... Wow, my voice is just so high. But I like how it's blue and red on either side because I have a red lamp over here and I have a screen over here. So it's like... I don't know what I don't know what it is, but I'm like the emperor from Star Wars. But yeah, so that's about what went on today. I'm super happy. I've been like stagnant for a really long time. And so it's really good to be able to film a video at the end of the night and say that I did all these things today. Um, I feel really good about myself, um, which is nice, because I've been feeling kind of down on myself for a while. So, this is really good that I feel happy! <laughs> okay, that was too much happy. Tone down the happy man. But yeah, so, um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic evening, or morning, or whenever you are watching this. I hope you, yeah, I hope you're doing good. Um, please feel free to leave any commentary, ask any questions. I would love to do a question and answer video at some point because I like talking about myself. No, I actually don't really like talking about myself, but um, right now I'm basically talking to myself because, like, you're not directly in front of me. And so <laughs> more I'm just crazy is what that is. But, yeah, please feel free to leave any comments below. Um, I'll link to pertinent things that you may want to check out, like my Tumblr and my blog below. And I was going to say my YouTube channel, but this is my YouTube channel. So, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I will check you tomorrow, maybe. We're going to find out what a posting schedule on this is. So we'll see. It's sort of a play-it-by-ear type of thing. So I will see you when I see you. Have a great whatever.